Hey everybody, welcome to the second video in our series on the top myths and misconceptions about fat loss. If you missed the first video, which was about cardio versus weight training, you can check it out right here. Today's fat loss myth is one of the most controversial and potentially confusing, so let's jump right in. Fat loss myth number two, carbs make you fat. Carbs are evil. Carbs are the enemy. Carbs will make cellulite sprout out of the side of your head. This is not true. Carbs, or carbohydrates, are not only a crucial source of energy, they're also a prime ingredient for building muscle. So how do carbs work? Your body breaks down carbohydrates into glucose, which is the fuel that you need to power your muscles and your brain. Eating the right amount and the right kind of carbs is crucial for putting on muscle, especially if you want to put it on fast. Why is that? One reason is that when you consume carbs, your body produces more insulin, which allows your muscles to consume more amino acids and build more muscle. Also, when your body breaks down those carbs into glucose, it activates the mTOR pathway, which helps regulate protein synthesis, which is how muscles are built. So carbs are not the enemy. But we still have a problem, and that problem is that so many people are totally addicted to consuming insane amounts of empty carbs. Empty carbs means white bread, white rice, cookies, soft drinks, etc. Not only do these foods have low nutritional value, but your body also converts them into glucose much more quickly, which means that you are going to run out of fuel and feel hungry sooner, which of course leads to eating more food. So if you want to shred fat and build muscle, you need to be sure of two things. One, eat a reasonable amount of carbohydrates. Two, you want to make sure that those carbohydrates are as nutrient-dense as possible. That means choosing complex carbohydrates like brown rice, whole grain bread, nuts, seeds, fruits, vegetables, even popcorn. And if you want a delicious snack, go ahead and splash a little bit of a healthy oil like olive oil or truffle oil on that popcorn. Then you'll get to walk away with a big smile on your face and about 20% of the calories you'd be consuming if you doused it with butter instead. All right, this was our second video in our series on the top myths and misconceptions about fat loss. Stay tuned for video number three, and if you enjoyed today's video, please do give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm David Posnick with Posnick Training. Bon appétit.